After doing so much walking through these fascinating neighborhoods, you'll be ready to rest back at your hotel. But where should you stay when you're visiting Lisbon? Well, here are three suggestions. Avenida Palace is perhaps the most famous of the five-star deluxe hotels in the city. It's one of those grand old institutions and it's been thoroughly renovated. So everything is wonderful and clean and new and refreshed in the Avenida Palace. And you see it has this grand interior. It's really a fine place to stay. And the location is probably the best in the city. It's just a half a block from Rosio Square. It's right next to the rail station. It's so convenient. There's Rosio Square right next to it. And the Alvear Palace is certainly a top choice. It's a little pricey, but you know, Portugal is a relative bargain. Another top choice is the Tivoli Lisboa, five-star deluxe, just a few blocks north of Rocio Square along Liberdade Avenue. And it is worth every euro, worth every penny that you'll pay. The rooms are spacious, the beds and furniture are very comfortable at the Tivoli. Just one of the finest spots is right along Liberdade Avenue and they have got a typically five-star deluxe buffet breakfast served every morning from seven o'clock. You've got your rolls, your meats, you've got juice and fruits. There's the cold cuts. You can make yourself a sandwich with some ham and cheese or have some baked tomatoes with your scrambled eggs and bacon and have some fresh croissants while you're at it. Fresh squeezed juice, breakfast at the Tivoli. This is a great way to go. You might also consider staying in a different part of town up in the Alfama. This is the old section and you might divide your visit as we did and spend a couple of nights at this charming little hotel, Solar dos Moros. It's a small hotel, but it really is quite deluxe as you see from this gorgeous room. Large bed and there's a very modern bathroom. This is no simple bed and breakfast. This has got a suite in this particular room. The hotel is quite small. It just has 12 rooms, a small reception area, there's a comfortable lobby, which is where you have your breakfast every day. And they do serve a light continental breakfast. There's cold cuts and cereals, coffee and juice, of course, and breads and very nice service. So this is certainly a good meal, a good way to start your day. Have some yogurt to go along with that. Some good yummies here at the breakfast buffet. A little bit simpler than the lavish buffet you'd find at a five-star deluxe hotel, but perfectly fine and quite tasty. They also have this charming little garden in the courtyard of the hotel. Little fountains, almost looks like a mini Alhambra. It's a small building, but it's up on the hill and you get a great view looking out across the Alfama and to the river in the distance. So do consider staying up in the Alfama for a night or two, and this will give you good access to the castle and to the old town of the Alfama, which is one of the most important, interesting, and fun places to visit when you're in Lisbon.